The next step to define our HRU is to define the soil type. So I'm going to click on the soil data tab and I need um, to input the soils grid or you know it's asking for the shapefile that contains information on our soils. So um, I think there's a little, again, like land use, there's a lot of different ways to get this, a lot of different places to find these. This is the part where I'm not as comfortable because I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a soil scientist, so I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. However, these steps seem to be appropriate for the model, and this is, a, this is an area where we can also um, develop and improve our understanding in the future. At any rate, through trial and error and, and a lot of research, I found that the best soil shapefile that we want to use is called SURGO. And if you look down here, it's S-S-U-R-G-O. And I'm afraid I can't tell you what that acronym stands for. But when I took the workshop on ArcSWAT, they said this is the, the best soils database out there. I think it exists for the entire United States. I was able to find it at this website the NRCS, um, but when I went here today I found out that this the, down, the downloads have been deactivated just recently and now you can download from the web soil survey which is over here. Now I have not done this uh, web soil survey, you see this is by the USDA, so uh, I can't help you right now on how to work your way through this, that's for later on down the road. Suffice it to say that based upon or from these websites I was able to get a shapefile of the Sergo soils database and I'm just gonna load that in and show it to you what it looks like and so you can do this county by county so I got it for McDonough County and if I zoom out you see it's the shape of McDonough County and you see you've got this very complicated polygon and let's just zoom in on a spot here and you see you've got all these very small uh, individual polygons within this and if you identify them you see you get um, an area symbol and then an MU key so this MU key is a code that describes the soil type and if I go to the, the adjacent soil type you see the uh, polygon you see it changes the soil type so this is the shapefile that has the information that ArcSWAT needs in order to define further define the HRU now, I'm gonna remove this because I'm gonna load it in via uh, wrong thing, via the in interface window here okay so I'm going to load a soils data set uh, from the disk and is it projected yes and I don't remember if it was projected when I downloaded it or if I projected it myself but it is projected into the UTMs and I'm going to change to polygon because this is not a raster now it is a polygon shapefile and that's the shapefile I want right there and then it asks me to pick the field grid code value so it wants to know which of the fields tells you the different soil types and that is MU key and I hit OK and it has loaded successfully and clipped to the watershed boundary so again it took that entire huge soils file for the all of McDonough County and just clipped it to our watershed and if you look at the picture you can see it's got this pretty new polygon on there okay so now it asks us to choose the grid field again and uh, okay I think I um, now I um, I understand what's happened here is it took that polygon and it converted it to a raster because it needs to be a raster and that raster um, the values for each cell in that raster correspond to that field that was called MU key. So now this is a raster that we have on the map and the value represents the soil type 
which corresponds back to the MU key. So we're going to hit OK. And here you see different values again in the different areas, just like we did with the um, land use data. So since this is um, a Sergo data set, we're going to go ahead and just choose ArcSWAT Sergo. And you see that it was able to um, reclassify it based upon that value, that MU key, which is the important value here. Now again, this is the area where I'm starting to get a little, I'm less confident. And so we need to develop this a little further and make sure that we are defining the soils properly here. But based upon the fact that this is a Sergo and I downloaded a Sergo and it recognizes the MU key, I think that we are reclassifying it properly. So let's go ahead and reclassify. And it worked. And if you look, at, now we have a very pretty map. And this should correspond with the different soil types within the watershed. And you can see that we definitely have patterns based upon where you are within the watershed. Um, and if you click on a particular value, we're looking at, um, we need to change this so that we're looking at the SWAT soil class. And if we click, you see that it's giving us a particular MU key, which is supposed to correspond to a particular soil type. So um, that's it. It's very similar to land use. Now we have the soil defined, and that's the next step in defining the HRU.